Hey there, welcome to another episode of Money in the Mercedes. Hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. I love just grabbing just a little tidbit and putting it out to you, giving you guys some fuel for the day, for the week, giving you a little something you can just take and grab and use it right here, right now. That's what I'm about. I'm about right now. I'm not about in the future. You know, the future is gonna come. You know how it comes? One minute at a time. So how are we gonna tackle these problems? One minute at a time, one day at a time. That's how it. That's how it's done. It's how you get moving. You got to get moving. You can't think future. All right. So today's topic. Let's get rocking and rolling. The forty-hour work myth. I actually call it the forty-hour hoax. Okay. Let's get something clear. Nobody ever got rich working forty hours a week. It does not happen. It's a myth. It's a hoax perpetuated on you by the government and shame on them. It's something we're taught in these schools that unfortunately are run uh, by people who've never had uh, any real world business experience, had to go out there in the, in the free market and actually roll up their sleeves and get it done. Hey, no knock to my teachers, no knock to, uh, to, to government workers. Hey, we love you, we need you, right? But it's just a little different mentality than getting out there in the marketplace and having to roll up your sleeves and really get to work, okay? So let me, let me, let me just shake this down. And for most of you, so you guys know too, I mean, let's not face it, you, you know, you worked really hard to get through school, get the education. So it's not like somebody said 40 hours a week and if you can't get it done in 40 hours, well then fail, right? That wasn't an option. So look, the 40 hour work week is a myth. Why is it a myth? Couple of reasons. One, you can't skill up in 40 hours a week. It's just not possible. I always compare it to, I give I like real world analogy, I give this analogy to it. If I were to go to the gym, okay, every day for 20 minutes, am I gonna get in shape? 20 minutes. So I go to the gym, work out, eh, 20 minutes, what's gonna happen? Am I gonna get ripped abs? Am I gonna get big biceps, big chest in 20 minutes a day? No, it's not enough time. The problem is, is by the time I'm warmed up and ready to actually start working and really start lifting some heavy weights, they're gonna give me the big chest, the big biceps. Guess what? It's time to go. So you go to the gym for 20 minutes, 15 minutes of that's a warm up, five minutes of lifting, and then you're like just getting into it. Now it's time to go. That, that, that's why it doesn't work. Same thing with the 40 hour work week. Look, 40 hours a week to work, you can trade some time for some work. You're never gonna make any real money because you don't get any skills in that amount of time. You don't get the extra push. Just like at the gym, right? The real work doesn't come in until I've been there for 40 minutes, 45 minutes, and then I'm in that fifth, sixth, seventh set starting to push up the weight, starting to really get in the groove, the muscles really making a mind-muscle connection. Well, the same thing happens at work, okay? By the time you're hitting 40 hours, 45 hours, you just get into a groove. You're just really kind of just starting to pay a price to where you're paying attention, to where you're actually putting in some real work. So I tell everyone that ever comes to work for me, anyone that ever train, all my clients, look, the 40-hour work week is a myth. In order to get anything out of it, you gotta go at least 50. I always recommend at least 55, 60. That's a good solid pace. I mean, you know, the 70 hour weeks and 80 hour weeks, I know a lot of proponents of that, and that's great and all, and, and, and to a point, and you can do it in short short stretches. I've worked many 80 hour work week, no question about it. But a nice consistent level that's gonna get you a good skill set, you're gonna pay the price, you're gonna be moving and grooving 50 to 55 hours a week, throw in that extra hour and a half a day, throw in four or five hours on a Saturday. Hey, you know what, take your Sundays off. But on Sundays, remember this, study, learn, read books, watch videos like this, get a mentor. That's what you wanna do with the Sundays. Spend an hour, two hours every Sunday, learning, studying. The rest of the time, work, 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 study in the car, study on the way to work, study on the way home from work. You'll get your skill set. So get this 40 hour work work out of your mind, right? It's a myth, it's a hoax. I'm sorry they perpetuated on you, but I'm here to give you the truth. I'm here to tell you how it really goes. 55 hours a week, that's the gold standard. Make it happen, you'll see your progress. Just think about it. An extra 10, 15 hours a week, that's an extra uh, week a month. That's an extra month and a half per year. Imagine the extra production. That alone, an extra week in a month, you're gonna get a big increase off of just that. Let alone the skill set. 
your skills are going to increase. Your skills are going to increase. A lot more videos to come. That's my quick five minutes. Money in the Mercedes. I'm going to show you how to do it. A to Z. We got this. Let's rock and roll.